Let me see first before I can actually argue with you, right? And by the way, so I can I, I just Judaism is even more fucking good. Okay, fine, fine. No problem. Right, so I'm going to ask you a question, right? Are you listening? Okay, first of all, the are you listening? Have, yeah, what is Right. But you're not going to convert me to Islam, so don't bother trying did, did I tell you that I want no, to? No, every right? week when someone tries to convert me to Islam, I'm saying I'm going to get 10 lawyers. Go on, fuck. Okay, right. So if I was walking down the street and I accidentally bumped you like that, yeah. And I constantly kept doing that constantly yeah. all the time, right? Yeah. And I said, the first time I said to you, I said, you know what, it was an accident. The first one was an accident. But if I continuously kept bumping you all the time, yeah, yeah. does it become an accident? No. No. Why, 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 no, does, why does it not become an accident? If I kept bumping you constantly, right? Why does it not become an accident? The first time, we can agree. It's an accident, you might think, okay, you should not have done it. But if I did it four times, is it an accident? And why is it not an accident? What's the point? No, I, no, I'm asking you a question. Yeah, no, you, maybe you've got mental health problems and you, you like touching me, I don't know. Oh, okay, so if I did it four times or five times and I said to you, it's not an accident, why is it not an accident? Can uh, you establish the reason for me why it's not an accident if I kept bumping into you? Um, why? Think about it, take your time. Well, you kept bumping into me. If I kept bumping into you, right, yeah. and I kept bumping into you yeah. constantly, right, and I said the first time I bumped into you that it was an accident, it's possibly it's believable. But if I did it constantly, why is it not an accident? Okay, let me say this to you, right? It's purposely done if I did it more than once. So if the Quran, right, is not from God, right, then inside the text itself, you would find discrepancy after discrepancy after discrepancy after mistake after mistake after mistake. Right. So let's establish what is in the Quran because you said it was. You used the term, and I don't want to repeat the term. But you, 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 you hold on. You used the term be bullshit, right? That was your words, right? So let's establish if that is the case or not, right? The Quran speaks about the book of the, the Quran speaks about embryology, right? Do you know anything about embryology? You're on about, um, go on, explain. Do you know anything about embryology? No. Right. Do you know anything about oceanography? No. Right. Yeah. Do you know anything about the universe expanding? Yeah. What do you know about the universe expanding? Okay. Right. Let me ask you this question. Right. And I, what I want from you. People want to. Hold on. Hold on one second. What I want from you is sincerity, right? Because you came up with the term bullshit, right? Uh, before May you, God forgive me for you, using this word. Before you edit that on YouTube, you I'm make not, me look stupid. I'm not going to edit it. is not real. Do not take the vaccine. Go. Okay, we're not talking about COVID. No, right? but then you can't because if you edit me, I'll uh, zip it. Okay, anyway. Right. Right, so let me ask you this question, right? The Quran says, right, that we have created the heavens and the earth. Sorry. The Quran says, yeah, no, that, we have created the heaven and the earth and surely we are expanding the universe, right? Prophet Muhammad lived 1,400 years ago, right? And made this claim. Now, the reason why I brought it back to the me pushing you in the street accidentally, right? Because you know that if I kept pushing you constantly, you know it's not an accident. You know it's purposefully, purposefully done. So, right? When the Quran says that we have created in the heavens and the earth and surely we are expanding it, no, you, that information... You're talking about embryology. Talk about that. No, I'm going to talk about embryology, but I'm going to talk about that afterwards, right? Now, the Quran makes the assertion, it makes the categorical, categorical claim that the universe is expanding. This was only known in 1952 if we go to Edwin Hubble, the American astronomer, when he was looking at, when he was looking through his telescope, he realized that the celestial bodies and the constellations were constantly moving away from each other, right? That is evidence that the universe expanded. So let me ask you this question. Since you said that the Quran is the B word, right? How did, how did the Prophet Muhammad know that the universe was expanding and this information was only known in the 20th century? Please answer. I can 
Listen, this Muhammad Allah. No, no, I want to know because I'm sure there were scientists back then. Uh, no, no, you have to prove. You have to prove to me. How do you know that the Christians had Wait, hold on one second. How do you know that the Christians or a Jew didn't know this? You have to prove to me that Christians knew that. That the onus is on you. But as far as I know, as far as what I have studied, no Christian knew this. In fact, this was only known in 1952. You have to prove to me through the Bible that that information was known. So, man, the question is back to you. I live by Irish Celtic law. Wait, hold on one second. Now, now you're just jumping. Insignificant to me. Okay, now you're jumping. Christians. Can you bring it back? Can you bring it back to my question? What I was asking you: How did Prophet Muhammad, 1,400 years ago, know the universe was expanding when that information was only known in 1952, when Edwin Hubble, as well as right other physicists, such as Muhammad, put it in the crowd. We'll get that. Okay. Now, how do you know there wasn't thousands of scientists in the world who knew this? No. No, hold on. Information a filter back to one, one second. One second. I'm glad proof is on you now. It's on you because you came with the claim that the Quran is bullshit. I was so I want to know from you if you think that is the case. You have I to. I told you my point. The, no, what you've showed me, what you've told me, the was, probability or that. Hold on one second. What you told me was what other Muslims are doing. I don't want to know what Muslims are doing because Muslims can misrepresent. Dis, rep, I don't care if Muslims misrepresent do. Islam. They don't blow up people or fucking me. No, 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 no. no. Now you're, now you're, now, now you're, you're all over the place. I, I, I had to get you what, what was his exact, the, the, did he say Muhammad No, listen, did you not get it? Or the Quran is, How do you know Muhammad, Muhammad wasn't the only person that knew about all this scientific stuff? Okay, let me give you, let this me is, give you, okay. 1400 years ago. Yeah, I, 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 were, I said to you, I said to you that that information was not known back what, then, okay. right? You what, have to prove to me, what, what, hold on, you have to prove to me, right, that Arabs other people knew that. The Arabs weren't stupid people before the Quran, they were, uh, learning stuff. Uh, right, when was, was the first telescope invented? There were scientists in the Middle East before the Quran. Hold on. Yeah. When was the first telescope invented? Oh, the Prophet Muhammad invented the telescope, whatever. I never said What? What are you on about? Do you not realize, man, there was, there's, there's intelligent Arabs before all this Islam nonsense. The Arabs, the Arabs were advanced in astronomy and yeah. cosmology after the revolution. Only because of, of so you're they saying, were you're saying that the Arabs were stupid people before the Quran. No, they weren't. They were illiterate. They were illiterate people. Yeah, they couldn't read or write. They couldn't read or write. Well, all Arabs. Yeah. So in they Arabia, around, one thousand. Hold on, they, one second. They didn't study books. They have no. They have no richness in their culture. Nothing. The only thing they were proud about is their language. So up to the year six hundred AD, Arabs were illiterate. Have you heard about the Golden Age? When was the Golden Age? What about Egypt? No, I didn't years ago. I said most advanced civilization. I, I, These I, asked were you, I asked you when was the Golden Age of Islam? The Egyptians are very intelligent. When was the Golden Age in the Arab land? Man, you're actually insulting the Arab people. No, was it before that. Muhammad Sassan or after Muhammad Sassan? You're insulting the Arab people. No, I, insulting Arab people. Yeah. Their culture goes back long before the Quran. I'm talking about the reality. They the were Egyptians, Bedouins. They were Bedouin. The Egyptians were an advanced civilization. In the before. middle of the desert. Yeah. yeah which even, do you know? Okay. Do you even know their culture? I know. I know the Arab culture more than you. At the time of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You're telling me I'm insulting. You tell me. You tell me. The thing is, right? I find it quite shocking. I find it really shocking that you have come out with such a preponderous claim, right? And then you haven't backed up anything you, you, what you believe in. You haven't explained to me why the Prophet Muhammad or how the Prophet Muhammad knew this information. You haven't explained anything about oceanography. You haven't explained nothing. Okay, I'm going to get into embryology. Right. I didn't insult the Arab civilization. Right. Since you couldn't answer my question about the universe expanding, which I'm still waiting for, for you to to come with a, a rational explanation. Here's why we, we will not agree. Right. Your world starts 600 AD. What? Your world, your world starts at 600 AD. Which world? Your, you think everything starts no you said your world so what are you talking about so what are you talking about yeah everything you you're starting everything at six at at the start of Islam, like saying that people are people learn to read and write because of the Quran. No, no, I, no, no. We didn't say that. What I'm saying is that if if we go back to the seventh century, right? There was a lot more intelligent people than Muhammad in the Middle East. No one's dis listen. No one's disputing that there were not intelligent people at that time because there probably was. We had many people that were intelligent. But the Prophet Muhammad did not know how to read himself. They were training not, with the West I'm not, Korean I'm not talking They would have learned English, probably. Some would have learned French. Okay, well, you see, now you're speculating. Now you're just... You're, you're just making things up now. And I can actually tell. 
You're just making no, things you are, right. you are, you are. Between and you know, if, that's fine. If you want to have a laugh, no, but we can just have a laugh together only, about it. That's it's, fine. It's, but you know, it's 1400 years ago. This, this, not, this, he, he, he did not go to a school. He was not advanced in science, in technology, yeah. in astronomy, in cosmology. How did he know this? Oh, How did he know this? My opinion. Oh, what's your opinion? No, don't stab me, right? Pardon? You can shoot me in the head quickly, but don't stab me. I prefer, I prefer to stop. What I'm about to say. No, I think Muhammad he was jealous of the Jews. No, 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 no. Stick to the point. No, no, no. Stick to the point. You say, no, no. You say, you say. He killed no, no, Muhammad killed a lot of people. No. Oh, so now you want to No, no. We're going to stick. No, we're going to stick to that topic now. No, don't move. No, I'm not going to let you move on. Yeah. Deal with the brother question. Stick to. Stick to the question. So, okay, so I'm going to go back to what I was asking, right? Because it seems to me that you were so confident in the beginning of this conversation that said that it's absolute nonsense. And now that I've asked you a question about how okay. the Prophet Muhammad knew this... I'm going to convert to Islam. Okay, let's, let's do it. How do we do it? No, you can play your games all you like. No, we see, know what you're doing. This is what you you do. answer the no, question, how did the Prophet no, Sallallahu knew this 1400 years ago? Don't become a good how? person by saying, I'm a Muslim. Oh, I'm a Christian. You do it by your he, he think, he thinks, you he thinks intelligent people are only those who are in science. That's what he thinks. Okay, <laughs> so we can bring science to you. I've, no, I've seen people here convert to Islam. I've seen people convert to Islam and then go up the road and sell drugs. But you no, don't but do you know what? No. <laughs> hold on a minute, let's, 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 let's say something to you. If you've seen some Muslims you that have... Hold on one second. If you see Muslims, right, that has converted to Islam and subsequently have taken illicit drugs or engaged in... I don't care about them taking it. No, no hold on. Let, selling it, selling, no, selling it, it, taking it, buying it, sniffing it, whatever it may be. Whatever it may be. That is not Islam, right? That's them being yeah. who they are. That's what I said. Right? But they always Get use, it? when they go to prison, it's they use the Muslim card. No, no, don't, 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 don't get, get engaged. No, no, no. Don't get jacked. Let me give you another example. I'll tell you a fact. Let me give you an example. They use the Islam card. So can you still answer my answer my quick? I'm still you're waiting. Still and what you've done, you've gone, oh, I know he's hurt. You. Universe, I know he's hurt. And now you're coming back here. I know he's hurt. I'm asking I know he's hurt. you. He's not hurting me. Yes, you are. Just be humble. Just say, look, I'll, I'll research next week. I'll come back to you challenge. How's that? Uh, How's that? Yeah. If you don't, harsh, listen, if you don't want to, if you don't want this conversation, I've been to the Middle East, no. and there's most, there's don't care about Arabs with the same, even more extreme opinions than me. I don't care about brother, can I, can I ask you, please? I'm, I'm, I'm hoping for an answer from you. I'm hoping for an answer from you. How did the Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, made a peace and blessings of God be upon him? How did he know, 1,400 years ago, that the universe is expanding? Because this was only known. Hold on, hold on. Let me elaborate my question, and then you can answer. This information was only known in 1952, when Edwin Hubble, right, and also we have the Russian physicist Alexander Friedman, and also we have the Belgian cosmologist George Lemaitre. They all theoretically calculated that the universe was in constant motion, and they concluded that the universe was expanding. I get your point. So exactly. So, so thank you. How so, did the Irish so can build, you build Newgrange no. five thousand years ago? Okay. Why are you asking no. that question? With a question? It's very similar. So can you answer me, please? Look up Newgrange, <laughs> the ancient Irish. All right. So <laughs> please okay, answer question. Let me, question give, let, me give, let me give you another. Look up Newgrange. Let, let me give you another prophecy. I'll give you a prophecy. Okay. Let, okay. Let, let's establish this. Five thousand years ago, there was. Let's establish. He can't answer. So let's go to the next question. You want to go? Take care. Okay. Take care. Assalamu alaikum rahmatullah. This is the example of somebody who is ignorant. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open his heart and guide him, inshallah. Ameen. Assalamu